Hey guys, what's up? This is Jerocraft and welcome back once again to another Minecraft video and today I am finally back bringing you the interior tutorial for the medieval castle, the moment you have all been waiting for or at least most of you have. Um, again, I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting but I promise as soon as the winter season kicks in I'm going to spend most of my time indoors and I'll be focusing a lot more on some new videos. I've got a lot of notes written down and I've got some surprises for you guys so I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. As for today, I'm not too sure how long this is going to take. I've never actually done an interior tutorial of this magnitude, so I might have to split it up into two or three videos. I don't think three videos, maybe just two. It kind of depends. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy today's video, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you do. Right guys, so here we are, ready to begin, and we're going to start off, obviously, with building the interior structure before we go about doing any decoration. Now, this is the building complete, so I'm going to be using this as reference, and this is the building just as we left off the previous video um, tutorial. So we're going to start with some oak wood, and starting from this corner, we're going to create the hallway entrance. So leave a three block gap and place a five block high pillar, one, two, three, four, five, Leave another three block gap, one, two, three, four, five, and do the same on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. We're going to have an extra two pillars right beside the two front pillars. So place a corner, one, two, three, four, five, do the same over here, corner, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to place the wall to separate both rooms. So use some stone bricks, remove the spruce wood slab and place one, two, three, four. Do the same on this side. One, two, three and four. This room will be the blacksmith and over here we will have a storage area. Grab some cobblestone and we're going to remove the cobblestone wall from the entrance and replace it with some full blocks. So that's one, two, three and one, two, three. Now we're going to create some archways, so grab some cobblestone stairs, and we are going to place it right here. So that's just one block under the pillar. Do the same over here, one and two, and just replicate that onto the other side. One, two, and one, two. Right on top of the cobblestone stairs, we're going to fill up the gap using some stone bricks. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. To add more decoration, we're going to grab some oak wood slab and we're going to place rows right on top of, right along this top edge. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Make sure you get the center and the oak wood beams. So you should end up with this. Right guys, so let me just add some torches so that you can see slightly better. And what we're going to do is create a staircase up to the second floor. So first off, just remove all the center spruce wood blocks and replace it with some oak wood. Bring it all the way up to the two pillars. And then we're going to create the first step like so. And then the second step and then place an, an extra step, so that's three steps in total, just as a guideline. And we're going to place a cobblestone wall, so remove the two spruce wood blocks over here and bring this all the way up until it meets up with this level. Do the same on this side, one, two, three, four and five. So there's the beginning of your staircase. Just before moving on, because we do need to add some stuff on this side, so I'm not too sure how that's going to end. Let's move back to this wall and we're going to place some cobblestone like so. And we're going to leave a two block high window to place some iron bars. Do the same on this side. Again, grab some cobblestone. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two. And then your iron bar window just like that 
Right, so moving on, we're going to turn left and we're going to place a full block of cobblestone here. Leave a three block gap and place an extra two blocks right here. Grab some spruce wood planks and we're going to raise it one, two, three, four, till it basically meets up with this level. Do the same on this side, one, two, three, and four. Then bring two blocks straight across the top and place two stair blocks on each corner to create an archway. We're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So block of cobblestone, three block gap, two blocks over here. Use spruce wood, bring it one, two, three, four blocks in height. One, two, three, four. Two blocks across, one, two, three. And then spruce wood stair blocks to create the archway. Right then, so sticking to the left hand side, we're going to create a step downwards into the next room. So to do this, you just need to remove all the spruce wood slab and make sure you replace whatever is underneath with spruce wood. I've already done this just to save some time. There we go. Once you've done that, we need to create another entrance into the room. So grab some oak wood, place two blocks here. And that is going to be your entrance. You're going to have your door right about here. So it's just basically one block away. Now grab some oak wood again and raise this an extra three blocks. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bring some oak wood blocks straight across here. Ignore the glowstone. I just put that for some light. And just create this pattern. And now we're going to fill up the gap using some spruce wood. So one, two, three, one on top of the door, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And as you can see, that looks a lot nicer. Right guys, so we're going to continue with the staircase up to the second floor. So make sure you don't make any mistakes and copy everything exactly as I do. Place three blocks of spruce wood straight across here and straight across here. Oak wood down the middle and create a cross section. Basically, we have a nice flat surface area where the staircase is just going to split up left and right. Now, again, pay close attention. We're going to remove these two blocks and place two full blocks of spruce wood instead. And we're going to create four extra steps. So one, two, three, and then four. So copy that exactly as I did. Place oak wood down the middle and then move to the to this side. One, two, three, and four. Just like that. Uh, so let's do that again on this side. Um, again, it's going to be a bit tricky. It's going to be one, two, three, and four. Just like that. Oakwood down the middle. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, and four. I'll just give you a bird's eye view so you can just kind of make sure you got it correct. Make sure this looks exactly the same as yours. Right, guys, now very, very straightforward. Um, as you can see, we have these four walls over here. Just basically remove the top layer. I just placed one block too many. So re remove the top layer and replace it with some stone brick slab straight across like this. This is just a little bit of extra decoration instead of just using spruce wood slab. And one more time, one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, just kind of replaced it with some stone um, slab. Now the rest of the space, the rest of the ceiling is going to be filled in with some spruce wood slab. So I'm going to time lapse this just to give you um, just to basically save some time.
Right, now make sure you've done that correctly. I don't think it should be too difficult. It's just basically filling in the ceiling using some spruce wood slab. So what we're going to do now is place a lot of oak beams and just basically create a frame for the second and third floor. So grab some oak wood and first thing you're going to do is remove this block and place a seven block high pillar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And do the same on this side. So remove this block and place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Over here, we're going to extend this an extra three blocks. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And you can use this as a guideline to create the rest of the frame. So basically, just create a cross section and just join everything together so I mean this is quite straightforward So basically what we've done is created the framework shaped like, I don't know, tic-tac-toe, uh, knots and crosses, whatever it's called. Um, but there's still a few more blocks that we need to place using some oak wood. Um, first off, if we go over here to the staircase, we need to remove this block and place an oak beam block. Same on this side. And we're also going to remove this block and bring a beam straight across here. Remove that and do the same all the way across till it meets up with this bit. So let's do that again on this side. Basically we're just removing this block, placing a beam straight across, removing this block and then placing another row straight across here till it meets up with this corner. Now we do the same on this side, we're going to place a beam straight across here. Um, actually not on this side but on the right hand side because basically we're going to have a staircase on that side. Um, not trying to confuse you, but um, basically instead of placing a beam on the left, we're going to place a beam on the right. Um, and we're going to have the staircase from here straight up to the council room. So again, moving back to the stairs, we're going to continue the cobblestone wall by placing two extra blocks until it meets up with the oak beam. Do the same on this side, one, two, and one, two. Then grab some cobblestone stairs and we are gonna create an archway. You could just place one stair block or you could place two like this to create a full archway, totally up to you. We're also gonna create a balcony using some fence. So we're gonna fill this in, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Do the same on the other side, so one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now I have made a slight mistake that we do need to change. Basically, we need to remove the stone brick slab and place it alongside the oak beam instead, just so that it basically aligns, matches up, and allows us to place an extra beam using some cobblestone wall. We're gonna place an extra two blocks right in the center here, and then grab some cobblestone wall to place your extra support beams. So let's do the exact same thing on the other side. First off, we're going to fix this, remove the stone brick slab and place it alongside the oak beam. Fill this in with spruce wood, then place two extra blocks in the center, followed by the cobblestone wall to finish off the pillar. So now we're going to move over to the left hand side to basically create the staircase up to the council. Right guys, so the staircase is going to be over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make our way around this edge using full blocks of spruce wood. And we're going to fill up the remaining space except for this bit where the staircase is going to be. So quite straightforward, just basically fill this in and I'll time lapse it just to save some time. Thank you. 
Right, so now that we have that done, we can finally finish off the staircase up to the next level. So remove these two full blocks, place two stair blocks, and just bring the staircase down until it meets up with the floor. You might have to remove these two blocks and replace it with stair blocks so that it just joins off correctly. Don't forget to place the upside down stair blocks just to make it look a lot nicer. So there we go. And then obviously you can fill this in and what I did is basically using some stair blocks I created a square. Just like that. And I filled, the, filled this in with some trap doors. And then you can fill in the remaining space with some full blocks. And that would be that complete. Also, if you notice, there's an edge of stone bricks over here. You can actually cover this up using some cobblestone stairs. And that would make it look that slight bit nicer. Now, the ceiling for the next floor is really, really simple. So I'm going to do that first. First off, you're going to want to remove all the spruce wood blocks. And now just basically grab your stone brick slab and you're going to fill this entire ceiling up, basically, as from here. So I'll just time lapse this again to save some time. So there we go, that should be very very straightforward. We can now continue with the construction of the council. Right guys, unfortunately I've made a mistake with the staircase. This needs to be pushed in an extra block, if not it's not going to fit in appropriately. If I would have noticed before, I would have just done it again, but um, unfortunately it's a bit too late now. So just basically push this staircase and place it here instead. So um, let's do that off camera just to save some time. Right, so there we go, exact same staircase, just basically pushed in an extra block. Sorry about the mistake, but it was a bit too late to fix. Uh, we're going to continue with the council room, and we're going to start with some fence, and we're going to create a banister for the staircase, and you can actually place the fence on top of the trap doors. Um, these can remain closed, and it just kind of makes it look a lot smaller. Um, also, we're going to grab some oak wood, and we're going to place one block here, just leave a one block gap between the fence and the oak beam and this is going to be four blocks we're going to basically extend this into the next level so just basically remove the stone slab and place it like so leave a three block gap and place the exact same beam one two three and four then place two corners one here and one here and do this the same just bring the blocks straight up until it meets up with the next floor and you can basically just fill this in with cobblestone one two three one two three one two three as for the gap just fill it in with some stone bricks do the same on this side stone bricks one two oops one two three one two three one two three and one two three and that's your entrance to the council room now just to make this room a slight bit nicer, we're going to grab some stone brick slab and we are going to make our way around this top edge. So just basically copy what I do. And we're going to place three straight across here. For the entrance 
And we're also going to place two rows, well, two blocks here, and then two rows straight across till it meets up with the other side from the oak beam. So straight across, and then again, right across the edge as well. There we go, so that just looks a slight bit more detailed. Now the staircase up to the next level is going to be constructed in this corner. So we're going to remove four blocks of stone brick. That's one, two, three, and four. And you're going to place the blocks as follows. Just grab some cobblestone, place one block here, one block here, two blocks, and then one, two, and three. We're going to place cobblestone stairs here, and then continue the rest of the staircase just like this up into the next floor. To finish off the staircase, just place a trap door over here, grab some fence and place one, two, three, bring this all the way across until you're left with just a one block gap. Grab some oak wood, place two blocks in the corner and we are gonna construct a wall straight across leaving just one block gaps as follows. Also place an extra two blocks here, and this is the corridor which will lead down to the king's quarters. We're going to remove these three blocks of spruce wood and replace them with some cobblestone stairs, one, two, and three, and then place another pillar, one, two, right here. And this is where you can place your door as the entrance to the king's quarters. If you make your way down this corridor, we're also going to have another entrance, so grab some oak wood and place one, two, one, two. Make your way through here, place another two blocks on top of that and place one block diagonally just to finish it off. And then you can place your door and that is the entrance to the next room. Going back through to the king's quarters, we're going to place another entrance, ignore that. Um, we're going to place two blocks of oak wood once again. Then make your way to the other side and do the exact same thing. So two blocks on top, one diagonal. You can fill this in. And again, you can place your door. And this would be the entrance to the kitchen. So make your way back inside and we are going to create the ceiling. Which is very simple. Just grab some stone brick slab. And as from here, so just covering the top of the oak wood. We're just going to fill up the ceiling very straightforward and this is where we're going to have the prison cells. Just like that and also grab some doors and we're going to place an extra two doors, one over here and one over here. Now over here you're going to notice that we have the oak wood just peeking out. So again, grab some more blocks and bring this up. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Do the same on this side. And we're gonna place an extra two pillars, one in this corner. One, two, three, four, five, all the way to the top, and do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna create a square. So three across the front. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then one, two, and three. And as you can see, we've created a square. Now, again, over here, we're going to grab some cobblestone stairs. We're going to place two. Same on this side, one and two. Place some torches for lighting. And I also decorated the ceiling using some fence. Um, just basically randomly placed some fence to make it look, I don't know, kind of random just gives you something else to look at. Right guys, so that has been about a 25 minute video. It's taken me a very, very long time to record. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to continue with part two very, very soon. 
so um, stay tuned for that. There's still a lot to do. We need to build the blacksmith area, um, fireplace, we need to build the cellar, including the towers and a bunch of other interior decoration and stuff that I just need to go through. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and stay tuned. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. I would much appreciate it if you do and I will see you in part two. Thank you for watching. This is Jerocraft, over and out.